All right, moving on to the next piece here. We're gonna start making meteorites fall from the sky. So we're actually gonna create a new forever block so that we have like two forevers running simultaneously. So under basic, we're gonna grab a forever block. Okay, so now inside this block, this is where like a lot of the game is gonna be more or less played within this. So a lot of what we've done over here is like set up. There's still some more set up that we're gonna add later on, but a lot of the game is being played within this forever block. So let's start off by creating a couple more variables, okay? So we're gonna create a new variable that is called Meteor X, or the X position of the meteor. And we're gonna create a new variable called Meteor Y, or the Y position. Of the variable. All right. So inside of this forever loop, we are going to now create a variable and we are going to set meteor x so again this is like our horizontal position we're going to set meteor x to a random number all right so because we want these things to fall from random positions we're going to create a pick random number again we're not going to use the whole screen we're going to have meteors fall anywhere between um the column number four up to the column number 13. So that's ultimately what that's going to be grabbing our left to right position between column four, and column 13, right? So we start off with that. We are also going to set our meteor Y value to begin at zero, which is the very top row. Right, so again, rows are going to be our Y position, our vertical position, while our X's are columns, they're running left, right. So we are gonna grab this like set pixel color or column bit here. So let's grab that set pixel at column zero, row zero to 128. And we are going to say, at, so column again is our x variable so we're going to grab meteor x while our row is our y variable so we're going to grab meteor y so x is the thing that is random y we're going to predict and we're going to like have it drop down as we go through all right so there are actually seven separate rows zero is the first row six is the last row and we want it to drop down to each of those rows so we're going to create a repeat seven times loop okay and the first thing that we want to do is just like erase what's on the scroll bit so we are going to clear our scroll bit this it gets rid of artifacts from before then like it's going to reload them instantly okay. and we are going to in here basically grab this exact same column again and we are going to set our pixel at column meteor x and our row at meteor y so again meteor x could be anywhere between 4 and 13 meteor y starts off as zero we are going to pause for a specific amount of time. And actually, we're going to create a variable for our pause so that we can change it easily later on. So we're going to say variables. We're going to make a variable. We're going to call this the fall speed. Okay. And we're going to set fall speed on start to begin with to 200 milliseconds ultimately. All right. So fall speed is set to 200. So in variables, now I'm going to grab fall speed and I'm going to drop that inside of here. The faster you make that, like the lower that number is, the faster your meteorites are going to fall out of the sky. The higher it is, the longer it'll take them to fall out of the sky. So we're going to pause for our fall speed. And then each time through this loop, and this is the important part here, 
we are going to change meteor y by one so we're going to start at zero and then it's going to change to one and then after that it's going to change to two and three and four and five and six is the last one because we're going to repeat this seven times and it starts at zero so then at the end here we need to display our changes to get it to update okay so we're going to give that a try. Let's download. Okay. Let's make me big. And we'll take a look. Now, we've only done this once so far. So, I'm going to hit the reset button on the back of the bot so you can see it. I'm going to click the button. And there's a meteorite that fell out of there. If I click reset again, there's a new meteorite. If I click reset again there's a new meteorite and you'll notice that they keep falling from like different columns because they are randomly generated okay and then the rows we have defined that starts at zero and then it goes to one two three four five and six but each one of these falls at a different pace and remember we still can control our basket so remember we're gonna have 20 rounds of this game so we need to get the meteorite to fall 20 separate times. Let's add that in next. So we're gonna grab loops. We're gonna grab a new repeat loop. And in here, we're gonna repeat this 20 times. And basically this repeat seven times is gonna get nested inside of this. And then we're gonna move this. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's not true. Everything within here is going to get moved within this repeat 20 times. Okay, so we repeat 20 times, we set our meteor X, we get a new meteor X every time we do it. We set or we change, no, that shouldn't be changed. Let's delete this change meteor Y by zero. We need to set that to zero. So let's Go back to variables and say set meteor y to zero. And then we are going to set our pixels up and then we're going to have them fall. So let's download this again. Okay, so I'm going to restart this again to start at the beginning. So now you can see then my meteorites keep falling. I don't need to press like anything here. They keep falling. I can press my buttons. And this is all about very difficult to do backwards. I can try to collect my meteorites with my basket. After 20 rounds, at this point, it's actually just gonna like restart itself again because it's in a forever loop. I'm gonna change that later on. We're not collecting any scores yet because we haven't given it that code at this point. But at this point, we should be getting meteorites to fall at random columns, and we should be able to move our basket left to right. Next, we're gonna move on to collecting points and maybe only making the game run one time. So we'll see how that goes. 